What's up, guys? It's William from Nigeronomy, and and this is another video. Now, during the pandemic, there were a lot of um, rules, laws that were brought into, it, especially the one that had to do with the moratorium. You see, the moratorium taught me as a landlord that in real situations, when stuff gets real, that is when you find out your fake friend. So in a lot of situations, when whenever you get into, you know, altercation, you get into a fight. That's when you find out who your fake friends are, when when things get real. So in this situation that I have this video talking about, it's about this female soldier. Now this female soldier, she was all right, you know, going through army and everything, you know, it was all fine and dandy. But now with the rumors of war from Ukraine and Russia, now things are about to get real. And when things are get about to get real, that is when you find out who's fake and who's real. So you're going to find out who's fake. And now, in this situation that's going on, this, video, this lady is confessing to the world that she does not want to be in the army anymore. Because now she's actually being asked and required to go to war, to fight the country but that's where that's how that's why she got paid so much money but now when the time finally comes then this is when you when you want to run away which doesn't make any sense because you signed up for the job it's just like a fireman a fireman can complain that the that the fire in the house is too hot a police officer can't complain that there's too much crime out there and i'm not going to work same thing with the the paramedics they can't go out there and, and say that oh, I'm not going to save this person's life because it's, there, there's no chance of him coming. So this, these are things that people sign up for, and the Army is the same thing. You sign up for the Army, but then you, you don't want to go to the Army when there's a war. What, what was the point of the Army then? It's for protection, especially for foreign and domestic war. But anyways, guys, man, this illusion is getting crazy, but... I got to show y'all the video so y'all can see what I'm seeing, so y'all can understand what I'm saying. You know, let's go ahead and, and, and look at this video so y'all can see w what's going on here. So this is a female soldier right here. I got a woosah right now. Y'all don't understand how mad I am right now. Like, whew. this the reason? This the reason people don't be wanting to realize, you know, the army got me fucked up. How the army got you fucked up today, Wells? Well. She danced a <laughs> Oh, man, you guys, get ready for some twerking. Get ready for some twerking. <laughs> get ready for some twerking. <laughs> Public disclaimer, if you're under 18, get ready for the twerking. Living the good life of army money. <laughs> <laughs> Living a go, oh yeah, okay, yeah, going crazy off the army money. Uh -oh, now it's time uh -oh. to divvy up. A few moments later. So you see, she, you know, she, she's enjoying the money because, you know, in the army, they give you a whole bunch of money. So she's out there twerking and she's bragging that she's getting so much money. But now, when things are about to get real, <laughs> she wants to back step out of the army. But this, this is how you got paid. Now you don't want to do it. So let's go ahead and listen to the more of this delusion. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna try to try to keep it together, but um, so I just wanna make this TikTok because I was just on live this morning, and of course we all know uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. But in this TikTok, like, of course you know, okay, I'm in uniform, everybody knows what's going on, so of course everybody coming in with the Ukraine, Russia, and all of that, you know, comments or whatever, asking questions, and I'm just like, I'm not here for that, I'm not addressing any of that, but then like, it's just like. I really hate it how people are so insensitive, especially like, and it's like, it's the civilians and, but they're so insensitive to like what military people really go through. This is my first term. And like, it's like, y'all like, what makes me so mad is like, y'all are so insensitive. Y'all want to talk about, oh, this is what you signed up for. This is what you, nobody goes into the military 
wanting to go to war, thinking they're going to go to war. I'm um, finance for crying out loud. Nobody thinks this is going to happen. But like civilians, y'all get to go home. Y'all get to go to y'all family. So let's stop it right there because this is what's happening in the Ukraine. All the men in Ukraine have to fight this war against Russia. So you see, with this, with, with all of this woke mentality that men and women are the same and the 50-50, but when stuff go, is ready to go down, all of a sudden the 50-50 inequality is thrown out the window. And this type of situation here, even here in America, with, with some of the women, you know, equality, they only like equality when it benefits them. But as soon as they're asked to pay their 50 of the bill, you know, for the dinner, then they have a problem with you. Especially when you're going out on a date, then they have a problem with you. When it's time for you, you know, somebody breaks into the house, why don't they take 50% of the break-ins and go down there and find out who the burglar is? Or why don't you pay 50% of the utility, 50% of the housing? This is a type of woke mentality that that some of these women are in, in this situation. They want to get the money for themselves, but when it's ready for them to call upon for a duty, then all of a sudden they want to come out here and start crying and boohoo and ha ha and trying to get all of us to be on their side. So then you should never join the army if you weren't expecting for a war. Don't join the police if you're not expecting for, for crime to, to come. And don't join the, the, the fireman hall if you're not ready to put on any fires. Like... Please, y'all go to work. Y'all know what y'all life is going to be. My life is so unpredictable. I could be deployed within the next few days. Like, I really just, like, I didn't come into the Army for this. And it's just, it really, like, it kind of, it hurts me. Like, and I don't, I don't really like to let stuff. This lady said she didn't come to the Army for this, but she came from the Army for, you know, all that twerking. <laughs> you want to twerk on the gram, get all that money and be twerking and ragging. Thank me, right. but... This is affecting me because this is my life. <sighs> but I just, I, if anything, I really just want people to be like, be more sensitive to the situation because this is my life we're talking about. Like, there's potential that, like, honestly, like, there's potential that, that anybody going over there can't come back, won't come back. So it's just, uh, I just really, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't even know why I'm making this, but it's just like... People talking about the situation, like, please just, just keep in mind, these are real people, people that have families, people that have children, and y'all making jokes about it, and y'all this, and y'all all of that, and these trolls, I'm like, these are real people, real life situations, like, please just be sensitive to stuff, because, like, I'm not going to lie to any of you, I'm scared as hell right now, I'm just, oh. Yes, you can be scared, but. But, uh, to all my all battles out before. there, huh. Good luck to all of us because, oh man, oh God, this is not, this has not been an easy morning. I was up till 2 a.m. last night because, and then it's just like, the army's not the only thing going on in my life right now. So it's just like, this is just more added on to it, but we strong. We're going to get through it. We, yeah. Yeah, guys, so, you know. But uh, what's going on with the people in Ukraine? See, as soon as that happened, all the women and children, they, they got out of that place. All that equality stuff was out the window. <laughs> so you, there's a whole bunch of memes going out there that as soon as Russia started invading, the you saw the housewife meme. Everybody started talking about, we, we need to do something about this. We need to do something about it means the guys need to do something about it. But the women stand back and tell the guys they need to do something about it. Man, y'all guys need to really think about this. Women and men are not the same. Even with this woke mentality. Anyways, guys, what do y'all think? Make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. This is William. That's all I got to say about this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.